If you think Man United win the league, say what? What? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, episode three of Balls Deep. How's everybody feeling today, man? Not so good. Fantastic. Ah, Not so good. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, welcome back to the show. I hope you guys have enjoyed the last two episodes. We are back weekly and we do this weekly. Uh, shout out to the takeaway uh, table uh, for doing this. Woo. Mm-hmm. Shout out to the guests every week and shout out to you for watching and sharing and subscribing and all that stuff. Uh, I just want to say from now onwards, I don't really watch much football. I've, I'm more of a golf tennis kind of person now. So Full you disclosure. Mi- yeah, 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 you might not see me in some of the episodes <laughs> in the future. <laughs> Only when Liverpool know. win. <laughs> um, let's start off this week uh, <clears throat> with uh, introducing ourselves. To yeah. you. Uh, you want to take it away first? Go ahead, bro. Hey guys, it's Uncle Idris here. <laughs> it's so sad! <laughs> Hey bro, your your tone of voice changed. Yeah, yeah, changed. you think so? Yeah. You like think last so? Last week very confident. Yeah. Now it's like more yeah. humble. Is oh, yeah. there a reason behind yeah. that? Is the true definition of humble? Think yeah. about the last four weeks, man. Think yeah. about the last four yeah. weeks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. What's up, Arsenal fan over here? Yo, Mark, yeah. Chelsea fan. Um, my name's Moyat. I'm a Manchester United fan. Glazers out and glory, glory, Man United. Uh, shut oh, the fuck up. That was me two years ago. That was me two weeks ago. Don't don't let the momentum stop. God. It's a carbon copy. I swear to God. <laughs> Dude, do you know? Bro. This confidence did not exist in any Man United fan before today. All of a sudden, y'all are talking smack, and I fucking hate it. Oh, I hate it. I cursed God. three times since this episode started. My veins are popping. I hate this shit. Oh my God, kill me, bro. To be fair, oh. you started this show after we beat Liverpool and we've won every week since you've started this oh, show. Yeah. So He's got the facts it's kind of like out, a good, man. It's kind of good luck charm. You know? Oh my <laughs> goodness. Well, let's, let's talk about the game. Of yeah. course, I don't think a lot of people were expecting that. Mr. Humbled over here. No, um, I, how, how do you feel? Actually, Mark, I was expecting that. Like this whole time in the build up. <laughs> are you the, sure? The, I, I don't believe this. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. Yeah, especially, FC, yeah. Yeah, yeah. especially since, you know, United got Anthony, like what? A week, five days before the game itself. You were I talking was, shit about Anthony. You said Anthony was talking shit about Anthony. No, no, no. All of Anthony. you were talking shit. Everybody yeah. was yeah. talking yeah. shit. Yeah. 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 Especially when you got Anthony. No, 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 no. You know, it's not because of skill or whatsoever. It's because... I keep telling you guys, Momentum. Arsenal and United debutants have this weird relationship. It's like every time a United signs a new winger, a new attacking striker yeah. whatsoever, that guy will always score on his debut. I think we've got Arsenal. to calm down a bit with Anthony. Okay, right. He scored one yeah. goal. Yeah, it was good. But apart from that, Ugh. he's he flippy flippy like, wanted to slap him. As, as, <laughs> as a United fan, how would you rate his debut? I think I'd give it like a 6.5 to 7. Okay. I yeah. don't think we've seen the best of him yet. Mm. Uh, but he did all he could do. He's only had one training session with the team. So there's a lot more to expect from Anthony. I'm excited, but I'm, there's still a bit of skepticism about the transfer fee and whatnot. Mm. He's so, a, yeah, he's a very cheeky player from what I saw last night. The, the, did you see how he tried to lob Ramsdale twice? Twice, yeah. 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 But yeah. that shows good awareness. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. He knows Ramsdale was off his line. Exactly, yeah. And he wanted to do that. Yeah. I think he did this little uh, flick when he was facing Zinchenko and I think it was Gabriel. Yeah. To find Dalo for a good cross, which Ericsson right, volleyed. Heel, yeah. Yeah, which Ericsson volleyed off target. So I, I think there are glimpses of the player he can be, but uh, okay, time so will tell. Yeah. 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 I just want to know, lah. Okay. You think we're going to win the league? No, no, not no, yet. Right. Uh, I just <laughs> want to say, I just want to say, I tweeted this out last night what because Man United fans <laughs> on Twitter were going wild. Yeah. They were going wild <clears throat> as if they are like they are back from the fucking <laughs> date like that. I tweeted. <clears throat> I tweeted, Manchester United going to win the Premier League. Uh-huh. You know what is the best part about this tweet? <laughs> I was sarcastic. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Manchester United fans thought I was serious. Uh, and they were, and they were jumping giving on the me tweet? shit, bro. Oh. You know what? You know what? Okay. <clears throat> Mukesh underscore JKR021 said, They yeah. now you talk lah, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Keshav017 
Eh hey, fuck off lah Pussy fellow Keep on changing side oh. <laughs> <laughs> This is the best one of all lah I say Manchester United Are going to win the Premier League This is the best one Shout out King Harris 29 First time you spoke ah. facts <laughs> First time you spoke <laughs> facts Bro oh. Manchester United fans there And there are So many of you out there Are <laughs> delusional And they think that this is it I can't say anything. <sighs> exactly. no, I can't say you anything. You can say the same about Liverpool fans as well. You can say the same fair, thing about Arsenal fair, fans. Fair. Fair. We are amazing. Yeah. Okay, we are the most controlled, the most... Liverpool are... Liverpool fans are the most... What? Asshole. Yeah, move on. <laughs> so, uh, one more thing about United, yeah. right? Ronaldo, right? Even as a non-United fan, right? It's quite sad to see what he's become now. Sitting on the bench... That talent, you, when he came on, did you see how frustrated he was getting at the end as well? Yeah, but I think it's expected. He wants to get goals. And right now he's finding it hard to break into a team that's doing well he's without old, him. He's old, like, he's just yeah. old. He's, but he's uh, if you see, we, we actually started, and, and I just want to put in a bit of analysis here. Wait, mm. GG United plays us out? Uh, no, okay. but it's about Ronaldo and Ten, Ten Hag's masterclass, I think. After Saka and got to oh, uh, great. Yeah, I mean, look, <laughs> oh, great. I, I know, this is this, this, this how the game panned out, right? This is this how the game panned out, right? Yeah, yeah, After yeah. Saka scored <laughs> the equalizer, yeah. Arteta was urging that back line forward, <laughs> high line, high line, right? Yeah, we spent the 4-4-2 as well. Yeah, yeah, and with Ronaldo in the middle, Saliba and Gabriel aren't going to expect him to run past those two centre backs. Yeah. So that's when Rashford comes in off the left. So that Ronaldo's sub was quite an excellent bait and switch, I think. Yeah. So I think that really played us and Arsenal played into it perfectly. Yep. And I just want to shout out Fred, who was- You want to shout out Fred? Fred? Bro. Yeah, oh. I want to shout out Fred. Yeah, man, fuck you, bro. Why? Because, <laughs> because fuck you yeah. and fuck Arsenal. Yeah. This is all because of your this is yeah. happening, you know. I'm he so was scared. Free. He's flamboyant for what? <laughs> fuck you <laughs> fuck Arsenal. <laughs> la. For allowing this shit to happen. <laughs> la. The, you all were winning five games in a row, then you all go to United. It was bound to happen, man. It was bound to happen, the, man. The last thing I want to say is that what we, is it, bro? we ended you know the game. Get de- defeated by right today. Yeah, like, I want to hear, hear. I want to hear. I want to hear. I want to hear. We ended the game with McTominay, Fred, and Maguire. I know. Full stop. <laughs> that was the big, that was the final, like, you know, insult to injury. <laughs> right, it was right? funny. Maguire came in, pushed the <laughs> yellow, <laughs> yellow <laughs> card. <laughs> uh, and he could have given away a penalty yeah. too. He could have. No, but. <laughs> but, but in all honesty, the game last night, you know, in the build up to it, I, I saw it coming, right? Because yeah. we were on a five game win streak. It had to come to an end, right? And but I would have assumed you guys would have be, at least drawn. No, but at we, least a draw. it was a good game, right? Yeah. In terms of the matchup, in terms of like quality versus quality, honestly, right now, it's been a long time since yeah. Arsenal United you know, have been able to match yeah. up in terms of quality, uh, do, right? Do you really think it was a master plan or do you think you were lucky a little bit? Yeah. I think... After Arsenal got the equaliser, I think that was a bit of tactical yeah. genius. Yeah. yeah, it was a, a genius. Bro, yeah, it was yeah, it was yeah, Ateta yeah. versus Ten Hag towards yeah. the the halfway the halfway I mean, point. Yeah, Manchester I'm United and Arsenal fans talking yeah. about quality. Yeah, hey, uh, <laughs> next week our UCL games are starting. Uh, by uh-huh. the way. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what are you guys gonna be doing? Watching the games? Huh? Or? Just uh, resting at home. Thursday night. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Thursday yeah. night. <laughs> Waiting for Thursday night. You know. <laughs> so anyway, next up Liverpool. All right, mm. nil nil, Merseyside derby. Pickford was an absolute G. He like, was on wow. drugs, yeah. bro. Yeah. Yeah. That guy was saving everything left, right, and center. I, I don't. Actually, to be fair, that game could have gone either way. Mm. That Liverpool yeah. Everton game could have gone either way. Surprisingly. But yeah. I think um, coming from a, a last minute winner against Newcastle, mm. um, I thought Liverpool would have been more hyped and mm. more like in the game and controlled the game better. and but Everton were controlling the game even yeah. more than Liverpool. Um, nothing much to say. Yeah, nothing, <laughs> nothing much to say. <laughs> uh, it'd be painful to be a Liverpool fan at this moment of time. Yeah. But this was, I feel like I, I deep down inside yeah. of my bottom heart, uh, I, I saw this coming. <laughs> <laughs> I saw this coming. Because if you want to compete like Liverpool have the last the two seasons ago and three seasons ago, you need mm. to buy players. You need mm. you need to buy players yeah. that, and not lose key players. If so you're yeah. buying, uh, if you're losing a key player, then you buy a player that is like confirmed going to come and fill up. But how spot. how sad is that? You guys were title contenders. You won the title yeah, like two years ago, yeah. and you're signing reject players. Exactly. That's, what, the, that's what, the point. 
I mean, I know you're not, but, but, like, <laughs> but, like, but I don't get I don't it. have the answers, bro. I don't have the fucking answers. I hate today's, I hate this show. Since I've come, nothing good has happened. <laughs> well, anyway, Chelsea, brief. We don't need to talk about Southampton. Like, we'll just skip, yeah, skip yeah, that yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, we'll just get to the, Southampton uh, the weekend's game. game. Ben Chua, <laughs> did you see his goal? I thought that was goals of the week. That was... Cool. Pure class, yeah, right? that, was, that yeah. was a good goal. Yeah. But I think there's a more interesting talking point about the Chelsea game, and that's the VAR decision on uh, on no, the VAR decision. You want to talk about VAR? You, you want to talk about VAR? You want to talk about VAR? I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Bro, did you see? Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, McTominay with the bloody like what was what's it called the German suplex on <laughs> bloody Saka in the game yeah, yeah but, but you know what yeah forget yeah. it yeah uh, we're, on. we're on Chelsea now yeah, yeah. we're on Chelsea now yeah, <laughs> no, but Chelsea it's so now. disappointing that it feels like VAR is supposed to help but it's doing the absolute opposite I feel like fans of football would have accepted it if VAR wasn't there and the referee just made the call and move on. Yeah. This VAR is like showing you yeah. in slow mode this was a yeah. and then like I think Wait, I think clear... uh, yeah I think last night on Astro Super Sport one of the pundits they brought on he said something that that I agree with he basically said like VAR is great it's supposed to help with the game mm. right but when you watch certain um you know movements in the game in slow mo mm. it's obviously gonna look yeah. like mm. a foul like you said right yeah, yeah because By like, the way, we the, don't the, mention the, our the, but, I'm gonna talk about older guys right still a foul though isn't it yeah Dude, the older guy with the, the older guy like you know push on Ericsson like come on that's a the, soft okay, foul. a foul is a foul but I think the consistency is the problem correct yeah, the pro so yeah. the older guard foul yeah. if I was refereeing the game I wouldn't have given that I yeah. would have allowed the goal. Yeah. But Paul Tierney, right before the Odegaard challenge, yeah. gave a foul to Scott McTominay for a similar offense. Because yeah. of that. Yeah, yeah, so there has to be consistency. The yeah. consistency so, yeah. is the problem. One day, this is offside. One day, this Correct. is not yeah. offside. <clears throat> one day, that, that is the problem. By the way, we don't mention our competitor pundits anymore. That's oh, okay, 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 okay. But, okay, but okay. the thing is, you, you, you cannot <laughs> complain about VAR and say that it's ruining the game <clears throat> when people would complain if it wasn't like there's some shocking decisions. No, there like, were yeah. less people complaining. There were less people complaining last time. I feel like for the obvious mm. things like goal line technology, that yeah. is needed. Like yeah. the Frank Lampard, Germany, yeah. England thing. For yeah. that, okay, what if you guys coming? lost the title on the last day of the season? We did. For a decision that was, we have. could have been changed by VAR. We have. The thing is, the, the foul that was made yesterday mm. was made on Divock Origi last time against Manchester United also. Mm. When we lost 1-0 against yeah, them. Yeah, but that United was in a title yeah. match. That, yeah. It, but it was one point. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but VR is not the issue. The technology is not the issue. It's the people the rest in the VR kind of. room. You know, it's the, <laughs> it's, the, it's the human element. That's the yeah. issue still. Okay, yeah. Holland got another hat-trick <sighs> midweek. He scored again at FBL the weekend. FPL captain! Uh, FPL captain! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean... He is on fire. I think a lot of people were doubting him, but he's mm. proven everyone wrong so far, isn't he? Yeah. I don't no, think I don't think you can doubt. Was no doubt. There was yeah, no doubt. There was no doubt. A lot of people were saying he might not be able to cut it in the Premier League. No, I think they wish that he yeah. was not yeah. going to be able to cut it. I think it the same anymore. sentiment is given to anyone who comes in yeah. from an outside league into the EPL, mm. right? But there was no doubt for it, Haaland too. It's not perform. so much about Haaland's ability. Uh, I think people were doubting him because Pep hasn't played with a number nine in two, three seasons. Yeah. So how are you going to fit a number nine into a system that was functioning well without one. Without so one, I think yeah. that was the doubt. He was, he's yeah. a beast though. I think anywhere he goes in any team, he will score. Yeah, no. of course. Yeah. He will score. And he, he is the definition of a proper striker. And this is what I want to talk man. about, right? So he's someone that doesn't touch the ball much, oh, yeah. but he yep. gets in the box, he scores goals. <clears throat> and that makes him, in my opinion, a great striker. It reminds me of Michael Owen, actually. Last time when Michael Owen used to play at his prime, he didn't really touch the in ball the build up, yeah, in right. the build-up yeah. and all that, but he'll yeah. be there for the he'll be there at the right time, yeah. at the yeah. right spot to score in that goal. And yeah. bro, this guy is a problem, bro. I yeah. wish he never came. The, th <laughs> the, thing, the thing is, if he didn't come to Man City, I think Man City would have been such a weaker side. Yeah. Yeah. And would have been able to compete with them. But even now, when they are when they've drawn twice. I feel like they're still untouchable, I yeah. think. By the way, Coutinho's goal should have stood. Yes. Goal of the fucking season that VAR should have come in and said, yeah. oh, duh, 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 that's where, bro. That Coutinho goal should have come I in. hate today! Yeah. <laughs> mm. Right, so Haaland, right? Mm. He could be one of the best 
ever Premier League strikers. Who do you think is your all-time Premier League striker? I'm going to start the ball mm. rolling, Alan Shearer, for me. He ah, scored the most goals. Most yep. goals. So facts don't lie. Facts don't lie. So yeah. Okay. Who would you say? I, I, I don't say Suarez. He's Suarez. gonna go Suarez. <laughs> <laughs> he's um, got like Suarez, Torres, Owen, Andy got, Carroll. He's got uh, so many to choose from. Yeah. Liverpool have got a plethora of, I think, amazing strikers. Yeah, Christian um, Benteke worked out well, eh? <laughs> but, but okay, if I'm being absolutely <laughs> honest, because Suarez didn't win the Premier League and didn't, it's hard to, it's it's yeah. it's hard to put him. I would go with Thierry Henry. Mm. Yep. I would say Thierry Henry, mm. yep. the best striker over Alan Shearer because yep. of skill, just skill, yeah. and because of flair, and because I would <laughs> take his cum in my mouth. Oh, <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, yeah, me, you and me both, bro. Yeah, wow. you and me both. <laughs> yeah, you know, I was I'm obviously going to say Henry as well, and I know it's it's obviously it's biased. But then at the same time, there's a reason Not why. Not Nicholas Bentner? <laughs> Lord Bentner. Lord Bentner. Lord Bentner. No, it's going to be Thierry Henry. And honestly, if I had to choose another one, in terms of skill well, let me and like- Bergkamp. No, it's Lewis Aguero. Suarez. Aguero. Oh, oh yeah. that's a good shot. Aguero! Yeah. That's a good yeah. shot. Oh, yeah, trauma. Yeah. Oh, no, no. Yeah. My doctor says I'm not allowed to hear <laughs> that. Aguero, yeah. Henry yeah. and Aguero. Yeah. I mean, I, I would say Henry is up there, mm. but I'm just going to throw in another name because I think he's massively underrated. Mm. Wayne Rooney's got to be in there okay. for the conversation. Second, all, second uh, top scorer in the mm. Premier League, United's all-time leading goal scorer. We, we, we don't talk about him See, enough. We're the I only think. unbiased people. On we are. We, are. Yeah. Yeah. we don't choose our own. I, I could have said the legend Fernando Torres, who was <laughs> like an absolute legend at Chelsea, yeah. but this, I didn't. This yeah. is why we qualified. An absolute one, legend at Chelsea. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> but Harry Kane's got 188 goals, right? Do you think he will catch Alan Shearer at 260? I think he will. You think he will? He will. He will. 260, how Modern old is Harry Kane? Harry Kane's 29, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. I, no think he can, I think he can. He's going to be playing until he's like 35. Yeah. No yeah. la. I think yeah. he's 29. No la. Yeah. No, no, mistaken. He's... I don't, I don't think he's got Dude, 60 goals. In this, in this day and age of modern football, 29, honestly, is like the new 25, honestly. Mm -hmm. Like you can, you're can, you going to play until you're 35. You, man. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but it's, it, it depends you, on... You're, going, you're becoming... Are you 29 <laughs> now? Or? I'm 30, bro. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> depends on where he's going to be playing. I don't think he can get another 70, 80 yeah, goals yeah. in Spurs. And mm. Kane's someone yeah. that doesn't just stay up top like Correct. Shearer. He comes to the, oh, from the back a lot. That's He's why that. I hated him for England. I was just like, stay up and get a goal. He just come back all the time. Because his link yeah. up play is as good as his finish, yeah. Yeah. honestly. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. 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 So another striker that I think deserves a mention is mm. Ivan Tony. He got a hat trick, Ooh. right? We both put him in our fantasy F team. Oh, FPL, yeah. Um, why hasn't a big club tried to sign him? Because he is a Premier League proven goal scorer. He mm. can take, his manager said he's the best penalty taker in the world. Mm -hmm. Maybe a bit far-fetched, but what do you guys think? Why has he not got a big move? Uh, it's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. How I, old is he? 24. Yeah, 20, 24, 25. Yeah. 24, 25. Yeah. He's a young'un. I, bro, I would, I would take him over Nunes right yeah. now, bro. Oh. <laughs> Nunes is just, oh, shit. oh my <laughs> goodness. He yeah. seems like he has two left feet. Uh, he's doing everything wrong. Bro, Haaland has two hat-tricks and he has one goal. <laughs> <laughs> More hat tricks than, than more. Than Haaland goal, has right? more hat tricks in the Premier League than he has goals. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ivan Tony, I, I, it's Ivan Tony, right? Or is it <laughs> Ivan? I don't know. Tonye, Tonye, Tonye. Yeah. But I would, I would, yeah, I would, I would rather have him than Nunes now. Like, let's not talk about Liverpool. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> so Graham Potter as well mm. is another Englishman. How are we not racing. talking? Why are we talking about non-top six clubs? But because people are gonna comment. There was one person talking. who commented. Let's talk about Newcastle and Brighton. Hey, <laughs> who the? And also, bro, okay, a, li a Liverpool, great. a Liverpool in the top six at the moment. Yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! Wait, I'm you just, guys are in the top six. Right? <laughs> Brighton are in the top six. Right? Number four. Brighton are in the top six. Top four, bro. Brighton. We have to talk about the yeah, top six. Yeah, we have to talk about Brighton. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Pascal, Pascal Gross and Graham Potter bringing, bringing Brighton all the top Oh, his name is, he's Gross, ah. Not Grop, you know. I've, seen, I've been saying Grop, bro. I've been saying Grop, bro. I've been like, hey, this Grop is like getting points for me. <laughs> I mean, going back to Graham Potter, right? Yeah. Like, can we name a better English manager currently in there. Steven Gerrard. Don't say Steven Gerrard. Uh, Steven Gerrard, We should bro. take him at Liverpool. No. <laughs> what, Graham so, yeah. Potter or Steven Gerrard? Both. 
You wouldn't take Steven Gerrard? I wouldn't take oh, Steven Gerrard. Oh, right. No, so no, you no. change your no, tune. No, 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 because no, no. all Liverpool fans, right, two years ago, oh, Steven Gerrard, he's doing so well at Rangers. Yes, yeah. Dude, I could win the league with Rangers. <laughs> like, Rangers and Celtic, that, that's literally it. It's the easiest league in the world. So uh, would you say fans. that Pep is also shit? Because it's like Manchester City. Okay, I also think Pep is overrated, but yeah. he still won trophies yep. against lots of clubs. Steven Gerrard, right. And I sound biased. Can we stop the Gerard slander? No, no, sorry. Uh. Frank Lampard as well, as a Chelsea fan. He's been He's a, a shit manager. He yeah. is, he is. He yeah, is. I agree. Right. So say Gerard is then as well. Stop no. being so biased all the time. But Gerard, Gerard is yeah, But Gerard won something. He spent so much money Gerard. at Aston Villa and they are doing crap. Dude, Gerard went to Rangers and won yeah, the, won. Won the so. league. What has Lampard won? Because there was won? no competition. Lampard got fatter than he did when he was playing. Uh, Lam- Lampard was at Derby and- <laughs> He won some respect in the championship. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. he won some respect at the championship. Gerard has yeah. not managed in the championship. Uh, Gerard- But he oh. should be because he's a championship manager. Oof. Okay, but even when they were playing, Gerard was better. Uh, oh. Lampard didn't slip as much. Okay, we were supposed <laughs> to be talking about Graham Potter, right? Yeah. But I'm just going to yeah, say yeah, one, di- one thing about Steven Gerrard. Like, I think he's going to be the next manager to get sacked in sacked. my opinion. Yeah, in Yo. my opinion. Wait, whoa. Yeah. Why so personal? <laughs> it's like, I didn't come here to get attacked. <laughs> the thing is, if I it love was, how you feel like it's a personal attack <laughs> on you, right? If it was someone like Sam Allardyce or someone else who was managing Aston Villa, they would have got sacked just because it's Steven Gerrard and he's it's got the name. This, yeah. He's a legend. He's yeah. one of the best midfielders in the world. But yeah. because it's Gerrard, they're it like, bu- oh, it's it buys him time. Yeah. It no, buys him time. Yeah. But he did very well last season. No, he didn't. He he made an Aston Villa team that was shite into a team that could play football. I don't think he got many more he wins didn't. than he, the- he did beat United. So <laughs> he, no, he did. I I think the fans like him there mm. last season, especially. Yep. Uh, Aston Villa are what now? What where are they in the table? They're like 16, 17, I think. Yeah, relax, man. They spent <laughs> yeah. so much money. This modern day football, uh, one week y'all don't do well, it's like Ole out. <laughs> Next week when MU lose to Crystal Palace, they'll be like, eh, Ten Hag is shit. He's, he's never magic. He's uh, never like, <laughs> Ten Hag out. I'm living in the moment, man. Y'all have to, out, it's part of the game now. Y'all have to give managers now. enough time. Okay. Enough time for them to, you know, Arteta. Yeah. Yep. Is a prime example. If they had set him off two two years ago, a year ago, you won't get, you won't reap we the fruits. We wouldn't be number one, you know? know. Yeah. That, but sack Frank Lampard, though he's shit. Yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, I, I don't think he's great. Yeah. 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 I, I mean, Frank Lampard, Steve Gerrard, sure, but you got to throw in Brendan Rodgers in there. Mm. Uh, Leicester were champions, what six years, seven years yeah. ago, and yeah. they were in the top four. Con- consideration. You know they but, they, but they did lose but, a lot of players, though. After that, they lost Kante. They lost. Yeah, uh, but they, they have the same the team so. as they did last season. I'm sure they, they didn't reinvest. They didn't yeah. invest money into this squad. Yeah. But you can't say there's no quality no, there. I agree. They've got, I looked at their squad the other day yeah. and their starting 11 is not bad. It mm. shouldn't be lost the last four games, yep. like not won a game yet. It's, and I don't know what it is. Maybe there's some dressing room drama. Like he's publicly yeah. attacked yeah, he's the, trying to make the it chairman tabloid. of it as well. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, dressing room drama? Sensational. Yeah. Sensational. I, I forgot <laughs> they lost Fofana, but you still got Madison. You still got um, Barnes. Yeah. You still got Vardy, who's oh, a handful. I love Barnes. Yeah. So quality. these are all quality players yep. and they're just not doing the well, mansion. Yeah. 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 Character, man. Character so sorry, when, when Rodgers was at Liverpool, did you say give him time? I did, I did, I did. did you? I, okay. I, I didn't. I didn't. I forgot. <laughs> I changed every week. When I, when I, when I, but yeah, Frank Lampard, Steven Gerrard, West Paul Scholes, bro. That's oh, he's, right. he's uh, shitting on Bunning on toenails. Yeah, bro. I mean, yeah. he. he... <laughs> but, <laughs> did you know that? He's more his of daughter's a, toenails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Paul Scholes likes to bite yeah. on his daughter's toenails. I mean, he's more of an observer now, Check and I'd rather have him YouTube. that way. Yeah. yeah. But still better than Gerrard. And All Lampard. right. Also, also, do you know what annoys me a little bit about United while you're on, on the show? A bit, All eh? these pundits come on, right? And Gary Neville. We've had three Man United uh, guests, by it's the way. It's just been <laughs> so many of them. Is this. Yeah. Is it because you get so irritated you have to change them? Like, like, what, Each one has been different. What's the formula behind Each that? one has been different. Brian back now. Okay. <laughs> Bring in Brian, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. But like, yeah. Gary Neville. Okay. I agree with what he says quite a lot. Yep. But I his don't. manager record was so bad. So bad. Like, he was such <laughs> a bad manager. Yeah. And sometimes I listen to him and I'm like, Shh. same with like Alan Shearer as well. Like, they talked the talk, but they didn't walk the walk, did they? Yeah. That's what I'm saying, bro. All these pundits don't know what they're talking about. 
They don't <laughs> have any clue. They have some experience and they think something and then they voice it out with confidence. That's exactly <laughs> what we're doing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean you were describing that. I was like, isn't that what you're we're doing? You're calling yourself a pundit. <laughs> <laughs> I am scared. Is a other people are calling this pundit. The first four letters is, is, is <laughs> yeah. almost there. I just need to change the back one letter. <laughs> I, yeah. I mean, the Venn diagram of good managers and good pundits they rarely overlap. No, you yeah. know they can only judge on what they see in the field. So yeah. I mean, the eye I, test. Yeah, Gary Neville was a bad manager. Oh, he was he a was horrible so manager. And to be honest with you. I think his punditry has been it's, has been inconsistent, especially when it comes to United. Because I think he wears rose tinted glasses yep, yep. when it comes to United. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it, it's it's normal. You know, yeah. you, you don't know what's going on yeah. in the dressing room. You don't know how they train. Mm. So you can't have. We a, need the I, I feel, or nothing yeah, for I, feel I feel like when it comes to all these ex United players who have become managers, yeah. like you know Rooney and like Gary Neville tried it out. Ole and whatnot. Skulls tried it out too. Yeah, Skulls tried it out, well, right? Yeah. Even Roy Keane yep. went into management as well. Roy Keane was not a bad manager, to be yeah. fair. But then my point is that like all these ex-players, you know, all technically Ferguson's kids, right? They're all Ferguson's batch, right? They all left, become managers, and then they all have trouble trying to reach some form of success mm. as a manager. Yeah, and for me personally, yeah. I feel it's because their benchmark yep. is Sir Alex Ferguson, mm. yep. right? So they're constantly like, you know what? This is the level I need to get, but nobody can get to that level anymore. Uh, you know? I also think they maybe maybe they're just bored of winning after winning so much as players. Let's so. lose a bit. Let's lose a bit, you know? <laughs> so uh, let's just give some time, yeah. Look at that. Look at you hear I'm that? I'm living in the moment, yeah. guys. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck all, all United, United fans, fans, fans Enjoy this, you know? <laughs> enjoy yeah. this. Okay, yeah, so this predictions, for you. predictions for next week. Let me guess. Mm-hmm. United yeah. Palace, are you going to say 4-0 United? Uh, no, I'm actually, I'm very conservative. I'm going 2-1 United. Okay. Yep. United Palace? Ah, uh, I, uh, why am I doing this show? Ah, <laughs> uh, United Palace, uh, 1-1. One, one. Well, one. <laughs> okay. One, one. <laughs> I'm going to go 2-0 United. Uh, Prediction? What was mine again? Oh, the Palace United, right? 1-1, yeah. 1-1. Yeah. One, yeah. One, yeah, it was a 1-1. 1-1, one, one, one. One, one. One, one, uh, yeah, it was a draw. So okay, Patrick Vieira is going to do what you couldn't? Yeah, oh, <laughs> okay. wow. Okay. Right. Arsenal-Everton, prediction? Mm. Arsenal Everton, I've put it down as 2-0 to Arsenal. 1-0 mm-hmm. yeah. to uh, Arsenal. 2-1 Arsenal. 2-1 Arsenal. Mm. Mm. Okay, Liverpool, Liverpool mm. Wolves, Harvin? Please 2-0. <laughs> please 2-0 Liverpool, please. Just okay. Diego Jota to score both. 3-1 Liverpool. I'm going 2-0 Liverpool. Mm. I think they're, they're too good to stay down. Too, mm. They're too good. To stay yeah. down? To stay oh. inconsistent. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Look at this, a Man United fan paying compliments. It's all politics, bro. It's, it's all right. politics, bro. It's, uh, <laughs> he wants to come, he back, wants on to come back on the show. He wants to come on the show. All right, Chelsea, Chelsea, Fulham. Chelsea Fulham, Fulham are too. good, eh? Yes. Yeah, they are yes. good. Yes. Fulham are yeah. good. Yes. Mitrovic, Mitrovic Marco bro. Silva. Mitrovic. Marco Silva is doing a good Mitrovic, job. Mitrovic, like three seasons ago, I think, he was crap in the Premier League. He, could, he was on the bench. And then in the championship, he scores all these goals. Mm. Like, he's a beast, isn't he? Yeah. He is, he is. 2-0 Chelsea, though, still. I'm going 2-2 because I think Mitrovic is going to be a handful. Yeah, 1-0. 1-1. One one. One one. Yeah, 1-0. One one. Yeah. Guys, this is it. Yeah. You guys, you seriously think Chelsea can't beat Fulham? Just Chelsea, just you couldn't Mitrovic. beat Southampton, bro. You couldn't beat Leeds. Just because yeah. of Mitrovic. No, no, not because of Mitrovic. No, but Chelsea, yeah. You guys buy so many players, so still like, you, yeah. like, a bit like, I mean, I can't, at least you buy the players, though, to be fair. <laughs> that's <laughs> all you guys we, do. We, we don't sign players that's, on That's your winning formula. You guys don't have a way of football. You just buy players. Wouldn't you rather that than buy no. second grade Juventus mid- midfielders? <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying. We haven't seen Nata yet. So, I mean, I don't know. I give him a better feel of doubt, right? <laughs> Plastic fans, bro. Plastic <laughs> flags <laughs> all around the stadium. Bro. Yeah, but I, I can't wait to see Koulibaly versus Mitrovic though. Yeah, I, but I he's having a very, matchup. very weird start to the season. Mm. He was really good the first two games. Yeah. And he just yeah. dropped off a cliff. Yeah. Well, I, I think Fafana, right, is worth... People were having a debate, oh, he's not worth that money. He I isn't. think for a defender, like like Van Dijk, for instance, people said he's not worth it, but he's the best. Van, D- Van Dijk is falling off though. I think I, so. I, I think oh, so. Don't say that. He is fall- don't, the way he plays, don't say that. Yeah. He, he is lacking in confidence. He's doing some... He made he's the foul, try- right? He was he, the one that made the foul. Bro, he's trying to defend balls like Maguire. Yeah. No <laughs> lie. Not that bad. Come no lie. No, he's making 
he's Maguire, Maguire moves bro because he's wrong sided mm. he's wrong sided and he's the fridge yeah. Yeah. can I just say did you see the way Maguire was tracking back <laughs> yesterday it was like he was horse riding he was just, like, <laughs> he was just, dude he's been on just, the bench for two weeks alright so <laughs> <laughs> he's a bit right. rusty uh, guys that was uh, game week three uh, no episode three game episode week three. six yeah, yeah. Oh man, uh, we 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 are very very much into it already. Uh, six game weeks, thirty two more game weeks to go. Uh, hopefully, we will last on the show Just with the amount of times I've cursed today. Uh, <laughs> last words uh, from uh, Edris. We start no start with you because I don't want you to have the last word. <laughs> <laughs> don't let the momentum die. Glazes out. <laughs> my last, my last words are: I'm looking forward to seeing how many different United fans you bring. <laughs> <laughs> like every week, it's just like no, he's not coming back. No, hey, no. someone else. But for real though, ne- uh, next uh, game week after that, I think is is yeah. oh no, this game week last like, Manchester uh, Ma- Manchester City was a Spurs right? Yeah. This game week, yeah. yeah. I would really love to have. A, a City fan, City a fan, fan. Yeah. or a Spurs fan or both. So if you guys are one of them and are passionate and you you think you guys can talk ball, you guys have the knowledge like us, huh, pundits, <laughs> pundits. <laughs> huh, please DM um, the takeaway account. Yeah, the takeaway account. Uh, send a video. Send a video, 30 seconds video and say, oh, I'm passionate Spurs fan, man. Well, you really think you're a pundit now, is it? Oh, uh, like auditioning people. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me test your knowledge because Harvey's skin is hey, the Gary Lineker. Pun- the pundit during You, you, you got to compete with Kevin's knowledge, man. I mean, you know? Kevin's yeah, knowledge, Kevin's knowledge Kevin's is it. next level. By man. the way, shout out Kevin. He couldn't make it today because yeah. he's in Redang uh, having a holiday. He didn't want to shave his head, basically. But he will be going through the eyebrow shave because <laughs> Liverpool managed to sign Arthur uh, Mello. Arthur Mello from Juventus <laughs> on deadline day. So Kevin, you will be back and I will shave your uh, eyebrow. Uh, other than that, please send us your um, last words. Um, last night was tough. Arsenal fans, you know, stay stay strong, keep it together, right? Let's bounce back, okay? Still, Let's bounce back. It had to happen, it was bound to happen. <laughs> it had to be united, bounce back guys. <laughs> Talk to your friends. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching this episode. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment your thoughts. Uh, it's been Balls Deep. Peace out, everybody.